Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, but shall we say windy morning here in the end times. I guess you would call this paradise. I don't even know where I am on this gorgeous Monday morning, October 17th, 2016. Good Lord, I'm somewhere in northwest New Mexico over look in some canyon getting blown off into the abyss Jesus I came looking for sunshine I found the sunshine but god damn guys <clears throat> you know this wind this wind is absolutely relentless 24 hours a day I left Mendocino County California. I left the damn Pacific Ocean Friday morning 72 hours ago and this wind has not let up for one minute. I thought it might actually die down after midnight last night but instead it cranked up. I honestly believed that my truck was going to flip over during the night. Jesus! Uh, will it ever end? I was just reading this story a couple of weeks ago by what's that guy's name? Gabriel Garcia Marquez or whatever that fellow's name is who wrote Love in the Time of Cholera and he had this short story about wind. I think it was in Spain or Italy. This wind that in the space of one little short story two people committed suicide because of the damn wind just dealing with that goddamn wind and I mean it drives you to distraction I don't know whether it drives you to suicide or not but Jesus does it drive one to distraction I'm walking along this uh, fence for clueless morons taking selfies. I mean, it's easy to cross over, but anyway, I did my rant last night from Edward Abbey talking about that goddamn Glen Canyon Dam obliterating off the face of this planet this beautiful canyon Glen Canyon in the name of hydroelectric power but I guess the planet eaters haven't gotten here yet unbelievably they're leaving this one alone although this is Bureau of Land Management BLM property and I see there's actually they have built a road to the bottom of this canyon and if I'm not mistaken that looks like a fracking pad down there you can't see it in here if you look closely all right here I here we are on BLM land on our public lands and it'll are right in the middle surrounded by these spires we have a fracking pad right there you move up about a quarter mile you have another fracking pad you move up another quarter mile you have another fracking pad I'm assuming this road that goes down into the other arm of the canyon would be another fracking pad at the bottom of this canyon uh, could be mistaken who knows what the planet eaters are up to but that's my guess oops there's another fracking pad here on your public lands as Farrakh Obama's environmental legacy is to bring the planet eaters into every possible remote corner of this country Jesus there is no end to it there is no end to this wind and 
this little dog, he's having fun running around on our public lands. It looks like our little fence here is about to fall in the canyon. Yep. The crumbling fences. But we are heading off to find our way to San Antonio Hot Springs above Jemez Springs, New Mexico. Trying to stay one step ahead of the goddamn frackers. No, nope, there's another fracking pad up on the ridge. As far as you can see, going off towards Colorado. And I know when you get to Colorado, what's going on up there. Smoke them if you got them, guys. Just don't smoke too close to the fracking pad. Things are getting ready to blow on this planet. But what's blowing now is this wind. And it's blowing me out of here. Off to a hot spring. This is your old doomsday tourist. In the canyon of the frackers.